don't know why my father feels the need to ash on top of my barbecue pit, but that's the kind of person I live with. So I recently started doing this daily vlog kind of uh, situation and I learned something in the past three days of trying the daily vlog. Something I actually thought about a little while ago when I first wanted to try daily vlogging but never did it. Now it's like I confirmed my suspicion. When you daily vlog, you want to record like the whole day, right? That might not be appropriate because maybe people don't want to watch your whole day. Maybe you want to just record the interesting part of your day. How do you know what part of your day is going to be interesting without that part of your day happening? Like, I'm not making a plan today. Okay, I'm going to go to destination A. We're going to record over there. Then we're going to go to destination B. It's not like that. I'm just recording what's going on in my life, what, what we're doing for today. The situation is you got to record everything. The problem with recording everything is what section of the day would be good enough for a vlog what I used to do back in the day like in the middle of the day while recording I would just say uh, thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe so you don't miss the next one even though the video didn't end there because I thought there's a possibility it would end there you guys get what I'm saying so I would make an ending just in case so today I already filmed the vlog I filmed the vlog of me going to get socks right sounds boring but I'm doing a daily vlog thing. You're not gonna have great content every day. My point being is that I gotta record all day today, right? Usually by the time the sun goes down, I'll stop recording because one, the camera quality just gets horrible. Two, at night, like I don't, I'm not going to nightclubs or something like that. I'm not going to casinos, like things that would be officiated with nighttime. We don't really do those things at night. When it's nighttime, we're pretty much home. That's the situation. So right now, I already filmed like a vlog today. It has an ending and everything. Do I cut out that ending and just make the whole day a vlog? Or do I leave that vlog by itself and then make a new vlog right now? I'm not sure. But right now we're going to Publix to get some cheeseburgers and hot dogs. And we're going to throw them on the barbecue pit after I clean it. Get rid of those cigar ashes that my father put on it. We'll see you in Publix. <laughs> so, we're in Publix. What are you gonna eat today? Cheeseburger. Bobby? What are you gonna eat today? Hot dog. <laughs> you know how slow she was in car? Yeah, it's like a time It's okay. Who wants to go with me and who wants to go with Mama? Um, you wanna come with me, Taylor? Sure. Ooh, uh -huh. There's only one left. Come on, daughters. We got charcoal for our barbecue. We gotta get other couple Is it things. Good? good for what? You're gonna eat a cheeseburger on that? No. <laughs> That's Bobby out of nowhere. You want me to get the hamburger or you're gonna pick it up? I'll pick it up. Is this the hot dog you guys eat? Yeah. Hey. SpongeBob. They ate it raw. It looks like real good. No. You're gonna eat some nice barbecue, daughter? Woohoo! How did you remember we needed bread? I forgot. Because I looked up. I was just saying, there's something missing. Oh my <laughs> and then I said, bread! <laughs> there's something missing. How many breads are in there? Eight. Get two of those. Why are you guys showing on? Oh, that was the other bread. I'm so excited to eat. That's all I do with my life is eat. I said today is the last day that I'm going to be eating normal. Tomorrow I am going on a... 30 day diet. I don't know if it's gonna be a 30 day fasting diet or some kind of other thing, but I'm definitely going on a diet tomorrow. Here, Bobby, hold the first. Can I still get my iced tea? <laughs> it's not heavy for you? Give me, give me, I'll hold it. It's too heavy. No, no, give me. Break your tea. No, to chest, give me. Stop. Oh, you're a <laughs> Alright, just hold it. You didn't want Pepsi. I know, but you can't beat a good sale. I mean, might as well. I think Mama went to the vegetables. Yay, I was right. Can we get ice cream? Sure. Yay, ice cream. Didn't I have ice cream last night? I still have ice cream again. Yeah. Maybe not. Are you sure the one you like is dill relish? I don't know. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Have your family, but join on your family. Okay. Be the only person that we say that. Okay. Now, normally when you want to have a barbecue, you just open up your barbecue, you spill your charcoal inside, and you start your fire. Not with my family. I gotta clean my barbecue pit from uh, cigar ashes. It's a little hot outside, but uh, I really wanted barbecue, and my family wanted barbecue after I mentioned it, so we're making it happen. Drew this extra napkin in with some charcoal. I'm the kind of person that likes his barbecue pit to be like neat and stuff. I don't cook often, but when I do, I want it to be neat and nice. So Lena came outside and like drew everything on the grill and I had to like zigzag everything to make room. That does not look nice. <laughs> coloring of the hamburger that's just the marination that Lena did she put some barbecue sauce and stuff like that so it's like seeping through flipped them a few times we're almost done we're down to the final four this is like the most nerve-wracking part of barbecuing for me knowing that most of the food is ready and I'm still outside cooking I want to be inside eating gonna have to wait a few more minutes our chili money Why is your cheek red? Over here. It's not. It's a mosquito bite. Yeah. Mosquito bite. Why are you letting mosquitoes go on your face? What a weirdo. <laughs> The perfectest hamburger ever. Added to meat, so I feel good. Just want to get it back. You're like all nice and slow. Taste your hamburger. I want to put that. Alright, first mm. taste the hamburger. What a beautiful day. I love this on hot dogs. Got a beautiful dish of food. Cheeseburger, hot dog, and chips. Love you, daughter. Okay. Why are you not eating a hot dog? What I've seen from a hot dog, I've never eaten one again. <laughs> Why is that so crunchy? Yes. That's why I don't buy Pepsi. Oh, hold on. You just said you'll never eat another hot dog ever again after what you saw. You know Slim Jims are made out of the same thing. They might even be worse there. I'm joking. So then eat a hot dog. Why? Because she's a liar. Let me tell you something about Taylor. When we catch her in a jam, she don't know how to get out of it.
Yeah, so there's a food truck in New York. They have this thing there called the Gypsy Burger. What they do is they take chili money and they place it on top of a burger with mozzarella cheese. Now we don't got mozzarella cheese and this is not the kind of chili money they would put, but it's amazing that that actually exists. If you ever in New York, I'll try to put a link or something to the official Instagram of that truck or something, but if you're ever in the New York area, you need to try it. It's freaking awesome. But, is it warm? No, it's good. So how do you want to Is it really good? Yeah, well, teach them. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with us. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out. Stay safe. God bless.